All right, guys, quick question. Do y'all hang your dry suits upside down? Or do you use a standard hanger or say a dry suit hanger like this to hang them right side up? Let me know down in the comment section below which one you prefer, upside down or right side up. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in the teaser clip to this video, I asked you, do you prefer to hang your dry suits upside down like I do? Or do you prefer to hang them right side up? Maybe you use, say, a broad shoulder hanger of some type or even a dry suit hanger in general. Well, in this video, what I'm going to do is explain to you exactly why I do it the way I do it. And to be honest with you guys, I do both. Yes, you see them hanging upside down. And I know in other videos you've seen me hang them upside down as well, but there are times when I hang my suits right side up. And I want to explain when I choose to do that, why, why it is that I do it. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video and learn a little bit about hanging up dry suits. So let's go ahead and start with why do I choose to hang them upside down? And I just use a standard boot hanger here. As you can see, it'll hang up multiple suits at once. I think this one will hold a total of four suits. And I've also got a travel hanger that I use a lot of times. And this is what I'll take with me traveling. I can just hang it simply by the boots and, of course, hang it wherever I need to and it'll allow it to dry. And I prefer to do that since I use built-in boots. And as you can see, all my dry suits actually have built-in boots. And I can simply just hang them up and allow them to dry now most of my suits obviously are going to drip dry so if any moisture comes in the suit it can drip down from the uh, upper side or say from the feet the actual lower side here it can use gravity and it can allow that suit to drip dry now one thing that you will notice is is my neoprene suits they of course don't go all the way down to the bottom because they don't have that telescoping waist they're not actually designed uh, to be put on from a front entry uh, perspective so they don't actually touch however my shell base suits you will notice that not only do they touch the bottom there's quite a bit of material down there at the bottom now there are ways to prevent this obviously in, in a telescoping waist i can pull this telescoping waist up and clip off the waist strap and now you'll see that it's just dangling it's not actually dragging the bottom but i'll typically leave it in this fashion if you will just to allow it to drip dry and to drain but if i don't want them down i will hang them right side up and i'm going to show you what that looks like but there's actually another reason i would actually hang these suits right side up as well all right guys so now that i've got one of these turned right side up you'll just see i'm using a very broad shoulder hanger here i'm not using any type of wetsuit hanger or clothing hanger i'm actually using a hanger that is designed for dry suits and i've got it upright and you'll also notice the feet are not touching the bottom there okay so this is one of the benefits to hanging it uh, right side up especially if you've got say a telescoping waist like this suit here it's not going to drag the bottom okay now the downside to this is if the suit leaked throughout the dive or I got any moisture in it and I need to get that moisture out, this is not going to be the best bet. It's still going to be better to hang it right side or upside down by the boots to allow it to dry. However, I am going to show you a way that you can hang it right side up just like this and still allow it to dry in the event your suit fails during a dive. All right, guys, so now I've switched over to a different suit. This is that red scuba force suit that you just saw hanging upside down here. And the biggest thing that you'll notice here, not only is it right side up, it's also inside out. And this is another reason that I'll choose to hang these suits right side up versus upside down. And the biggest reason is, of course, if the suit floods or I've had to wash it out for whatever reason, I can turn the suit inside out what that does it renders me from using the boots as you can see the boots are now up inside the leg so i can't hang it from the boots but by using that same hanger i can hang it right side up and now that the inside is out the inside can actually dry out so whether i've washed the inside out or number two it flooded had a catastrophic failure something like that and of course i can allow it to dry by hanging it right side up i can still allow gravity to work for me it'll dry out the boots if I need to, I can put a little fan or something under it to help dry out the boots as well. And if you're not familiar with attached boots, most of them, just like all these other ones, they're basically just neoprene socks 
that's got some type of boot glued over it. I've got two sets of polar boots here on these. And as you can see, it's just neoprene socks. Same thing on this. This is basically just a neoprene sock glued to the bottom of the fabric. And then of course the boot is glued onto the bottom of it. So you can kind of see up in there. But this is another great reason that I would hang it right side up versus upside down in the fact that I've had to turn it inside out to actually let that suit dry from the inside out. So there you go guys, that's why I hang my dry suit up the way that I do it. And yes, I do both methods. Primarily, I will hang them upside down just because it's quick, it's easy. I have built-in boots and I have a big long boot hanger here that I can hold, dry, or hang up multiple dry suits at once. I also use that traveling dry suit hanger as well. Works great when I go somewhere. However, if I ever need to clean the internal part of the dry suit or if it ever floods for whatever reason, maybe if it's just a small leak or a catastrophic failure, I can actually turn that suit inside out, hang it up right side. It's going to still allow the inside to dry out first. Then I can flip it over or flip it right side out again and hang it up still, whether it's up or down, and it'll allow the outside to dry as well. But let me know down in the comment section below, which do you prefer? Do you hang them upside down or right side up and why do you do it? Do you do it because you got more room one way or the other or do you just prefer to use that method? But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you are interested in more dry suit content, check the playlist down below. We have an entire series, not only on the SSI dry suit program, but we also have an entire series of how to actually dive a dry suit, prep a dry suit, don't engulf a dry suit, store a dry suit, and how even we clean the dry suit as well. So check that series out. I really think it'll make you a much better dry suit diver. And if you're not a dry suit diver, it might even spark an interest in you to go out and purchase your own. But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.